Today, we're going to continue working on the small rescue boat. Let's get started. I wanted to do a major customization to this engine. Maybe add an additional cylinder. I don't know how this will work, but it's going to be interesting. Which means we're going to have to move everything back like one block. So what we're going to do is copy this entire belt like this. Not the entire thing, just the vertical parts and copy that right there. And then we're going to extend this part also. So we cannot forget about the um, actual... Are these the alternators? I think they are. We're going to just put those there. Actually, no, those are the starters. So don't want to forget about those. And then there we go. So now we need to add an additional crankshaft to this thing. Just like that and now let's go ahead and add some cylinders all right so how many cylinders can we add i'm pretty sure we can just add two more which will should help the engine i don't know if, how good it's going to actually help it but it should help and there we go we got that done um i don't know if anything's like actually changed though i don't think we need to reconnect anything let's go ahead and spawn this in and of course test this thing out it is still stormy like it's been stormy the past couple of days in this server but all right so what's going on out here let's go to wind all right we are clear for wind we were in a major patch earlier i think that was it right there uh fog we are also in a patch and rain yep there it is okay that's a huge storm right there hopefully that doesn't go anywhere near us i think we'll be fine though but all right let's go ahead and start this thing see if it's any faster than uh, how it normally was so we are going 11 12 13 14 13 is actually really quick for this and our electric is going down of course but remember that generator we added yesterday so generator is up and running but um normally what we will have to do is probably shut this thing down for a little bit um and have it charge up but if we put it on high low mode or actually it's just called high mode i always say high low it will slowly go up so that is all that matters it will slowly go up if we have that on a high mode which is um good but also yeah so we need to turn around here we're definitely going way too far out but yeah it's a pretty cool boat i think we are actually maybe even able to do a rescue mission today in this thing i think it's capable but of course we're gonna have to do some checks um, a lot of you guys were saying to also add a water tank to this thing somewhere or just actually no we'll use seawater we'll have a pump somewhere that'll pump out seawater and it'll be like a fire extinguisher with a long hose on it that'll pump it out really far but all right so let's go ahead and do that so where should we actually have this located okay so we'll probably have to run it through the boat so if we're gonna do that why don't we have it like somewhere on the bow right here oh that's straight where our generator's at okay maybe a little bit higher up okay this will work right here maybe um nope that won't okay all right so what we're gonna do is put a hole in the boat uh, around like right here and this will just go straight down right next to the generator and we'll delete a hole right there and we're going to put a port and this will be what our actual fire suppression or not fire suppression but what our actual fire extinguisher uses because we're going to have a fire hose on this thing that pumps out seawater so we're going to grab ourselves a pipe right here it'll basically bring the water up to where we need it and of course we need a pump we cannot forget about that pump is very important all right so which way does a pump go i'm pretty sure um the dark side is the inside so we're going to kind of try rotating this down all right pump is in and then i think that's um um, flute out right there yes it is so what we're gonna do is just grab ourselves a pipe and just kind of have it turn straight up to wherever this is at and i don't know what's going to be directly above this um, little area here it might just be a hose um that would work actually let's just grab this hose here and then we'll put this right here and then we're going to probably make it red so we know that it actually um is our fire pump and then we're going to make a button here which will be basically the um on and off value for it so we're also going to make it all red so we know that it's a fire pump and make the background perfectly white so it glows really bright and it already is great Great. And of course, we cannot forget about the hose. We're not going to be using our fuel hose to fight out fires here. And we're probably going to put two of these just in case um, we lose a hose because normally I tend to like drop them and just leave them there. So there we go. We got two of them. And now what we need to do is actually connect this um, button right here to turn that on. And then we need to connect it to our electrical source, which is on the bow of the ship right here. So we'll just connect all of our electrical systems just like that button. All right. And I also thought we need a reserve battery on this thing just in case that battery actually is broken. So we're going to probably use use two small batteries here and we're going to put them somewhere probably in the rear of the ship just in case we accidentally run into something up there that would definitely be catastrophic so what we're going to do is probably put our two um backup batteries right here and then we're going to put like a main one probably about um somewhere back here all right now that we got that done let's also kind of like even it out there make it smooth we don't want to have like those big bumps we just want to be able to climb up them perfectly even like that you know why don't we do it why don't we have it be too long so too long definitely evens it out a little bit more so what we're going to do even it out just like that there we go all right and then we're going to connect our emergency batteries all to each other so we'll connect that one and that one this is the main emergency battery right here but all right now that we got that done let's actually make a breaker somewhere for this emergency battery we'll probably make it up here in the helm so we're gonna make a dial right there oh we don't want symmetry on for that we're gonna make a dial there and then a breaker there this dial will display how much battery we have actually on our main battery and then maybe we need one for our emergency one so we'll just put another one right there and then we're gonna grab ourselves a breaker and this breaker will be responsible for turning on our emergency battery so we're gonna make this red just like that and then electrical a will be to our emergency battery here and then electrical b when it's on it'll connect it to our main or our yeah main battery and of course we cannot forget to connect um electrical to that and then we're gonna name these 
All right, so we have the top one named main power, which we're gonna connect to the main power charge right there. And then the backup power charge, which will connect to the main um, emergency generator charger, electrical battery charger right there, perfect. And then yes, I cannot forget about lights on this thing. That will be a major factor. So what we're gonna do is probably break two blocks just like that, and they're gonna be lights. These will be our navigational lights to see which way we're going. I'm pretty sure green is on the left and red is on the right. I might be wrong. But before we do any of that, we need to make this look a little bit better here. So we need to do my thing and even it out here. So we're just going to do something like this. Ooh, this might not look good with the bottom part there. All right, we'll do something like that. Um, That's interesting looking, but it's not bad. I'm not going to say it doesn't look good, but it's it's fine. All right, so let's turn off symmetry and we're going to go on our additive color here. The left side is red. This side will be green. I'm pretty sure that's how it is perfect. And now what we're going to do is connect both of these lights to um, number two here. I think number two is open, right? So number two will be our nav lights. So we're going to name these nav lights on here. But then, of course, we cannot forget that we actually need to see in this thing without the nav lights. These nav lights are not going to help us basically at all. So we're going to grab some of our own lights here. So we'll have two up there, probably one up here near our battery. So right there will work. And then, of course, we need one back here, which will probably be directly behind our battery right there. Awesome. And then the white is a really bright tint to it. So what we're going to do to make it a little bit darker, we're going to grab a darker gray there. And that should just be the perfect tint for this. Perfect. Now we need to connect electrical to all of our new lights. And then number three on the helm will activate all of our actual visual lights we need to see on this thing at night. And of course, we need to test this. So let's go ahead, spawn it in. Um, it's not exactly nighttime yet, obviously. So let's go ahead and test our nav lights. So number two is our nav light. So that should activate those red and green lights up here. Perfect. Looking good. Um, We definitely need more robotic pivots on the bow here. It goes underwater and it dips, which is not good. But all right, number three, I think it is, activates all of our lights up here. Okay, we can dim those a little bit. And I think everything else is good, though. Perfect. All right, so we're going to add some more robotic pivots in the bow here these just help the boat float higher i don't know how this works like at all someone told me it's and it does work so we're just gonna put some more up there that should be more than enough but of course we need to test this thing so let's see it should be floating a little bit higher in the bow see how the bow is like kind of not bouncing as much as the back here but let's see if we jump on it um as you see it doesn't go underwater all that matters here um let's actually take this thing drive and see how good this thing does all right we're on full throttle here perfect and I also thought about adding another air intake to this thing. I don't know if we should. We definitely wouldn't turbocharge or supercharge it because we don't have enough electric for that. But we are picking up some speeds here. That's amazing. Um, we're actually maxing out on RPS here. You know what? We're going to bring this back and I think we can have this be geared a little bit. So instead of three to two, we're going to put it to nine to five. I think um, that makes it go a little bit faster. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay, we're going to test this. All right, full throttle. Here we go. Let's see. I think I, don't, I completely forgot what number that was at last time, but we are hitting 14 about to hit. 15 now we are going much faster at around the same rps probably just because we geared it and our max rps is actually 15 so right now we are going much faster than the starter boat and we had a really cool lightning strike over there but that's amazing we are going faster than the starter boat that is all that matters but i'm a little bit concerned about overheating issues i don't want this thing to overheat of course we'll have to um test that and you know what to make ourselves look a little bit more believing we're gonna add the hospital stripe right there perfect now we actually look like an official hospital boat over here oh yeah we forgot to test our actual fire pump here all right let's go test this i'm excited for this and then we're gonna turn on three and four now there we go so now we have lighting on the entire boat grab our hose right here um we are having water go over the deck again probably because i'm on the left dude how heavy am i oh my gosh okay turning on the fire hose right now let's see how far this goes oh yeah there we go now we got some range on this thing perfect all right that's all we need to know but then of course we need an access hatch to the generator just in case it um explodes yeah that's probably a good reason okay so can we climb in this space right here um maybe you know what it'll be fine we'll figure it out okay we'll climb in there use ourselves a hatch here and this hatch will open from the outside so we can climb back up pretty easy and there we go so now we should be able to put out any fires if there is any let's go ahead and put a fire extinguisher down here just in case we don't grab one in time so let's put one like right there then same thing for the engine room let's go put some fire extinguishers down here just in case we cannot grab one and then we're gonna grab ourselves a welder also just in case and there we go um we also probably need bilge pumps um do you think we need bilge pumps i don't know we really shouldn't need any um yeah it's kind of a small boat but maybe but all right let's see how kind of level this thing is let's see where it floats higher at and floats lower so the back floats a little bit higher hold on i need to go in photo mode here 
here. Um, let's see. It looks like the back's floating a little higher. Hold on, let's unpause it. All right, so it's looking good. The front's definitely weighed down, probably from the generator and our battery. So what we're gonna do, probably move our battery to the back. Um, possibly we could do that. You know, just for like testing it, why don't we just move it to the back? How much does this battery even weigh? Let's search up battery here. Um, 60, that's a lot, but it shouldn't really affect it. We're just gonna test it. All right, let's go ahead, go no clip here, unpause, see what's going on with this boat. Um, okay, that did kind of fix it. It's still like low on the front though. I don't know what's going on with that. And then something that we might need to do for stability is delete all the blocks right here and fill it with weight. Uh, I don't think we have actually any weight blocks on the bottom of this thing. Probably not helping us at all. We're going to make this red here just like that. Okay, this should help us. But yeah, see, look how low the center of mass goes when I do that. Okay, definitely noticeable. We want the center of mass to be as low as possible. Do you think we can maybe add another layer? Um, I don't know. Okay, we're going to try just maybe fill in some weight blocks like in the middle, like right here. Maybe try leaning it towards the back a little bit more. Okay, we'll do something like that. Then we need to even it out here, of course, just like that. All right, um, that should work. Let's go ahead and spawn this in and test it. All right, it's looking decent. Um, still the front. Front's a little bit heavy. I don't know why. Maybe because of the generator, that would make sense. But um, every time I go to the side, it like leans heavily towards that side. Or it's probably because of the waves. Um, yeah, wait. Oh, there's a hospital boat over there. Hello. Um, we're getting a low fuel warning. What is fuel mean? Why is fuel so low? What the heck? It is really low. Um, wait, can we start it? Generator start on and off. Did I accidentally like cut a hole in the fuel tank when I did this? Possibly could have. Um, yeah, probably. Oh, that makes sense. I got rid of the fluid spawner. Okay, just got another one and it should work now. And you know what? Just to spice it up a little more, we're going to add another cylinder. Okay, so we're going to put the cylinder right there and we're going to have to connect this thing using manifolds and it's going to be kind of like a little snake here. So we're going to run it up through the engine and then we're going to grab a straight manifold here to just go straight over all these other manifolds. And then we will have it just curve down and connect to the bottom one. I think that's how it works. Um, it should. Um, there we go. All right, it should all work. Let's see if we have any like major speed improvements from that. I don't know if we will, but of course we need to test it here. Um, kind of, not really. 15, yeah, that's about a, where we were at 15 so that's pretty good all right so we are picking up some speed here we're moving all right i think we might be ready for a rescue mission i don't know what else we'd really need oh yeah of course we cannot forget a map i'm not trying to get lost out here so we got ourselves a microcontroller for a map we're just gonna put it in here and then we should be off in a bit here just to go you know do some stuff so where do we put this at we don't have a lot of room you know we'll just put it on this wall here maybe will it fit uh, i think so all right so we need a gps sensor for this um actual map here so gps right here we're just gonna put it down here connect gps x to x right here x and y then the monitor will go to this little monitor up here hopefully that'll work electric it has electric yes it does perfect um gps thing needs electric also for some reason all right makes sense monitor brightness i don't know why that would be needed um we'll just connect uh that to be on to that right there i think we got everything connected oh yeah composite okay we need to test this map this is very important because if it doesn't work uh that's not good now if we go ahead and turn this on it should all work to plan there we go all right we have our map here i think we zoom out using that one right there maybe um it's not letting me click anything oh gosh this is really bad guys um wait can we drive with it let's go see if we can actually drive with it okay it does follow us but it doesn't like work when i click anything which is the kind of important part here oh i really don't like that okay well i do have to say if the map's not gonna work when i click on it i don't know what to tell myself here um if we can't click it that's some that's the important part so i don't think we can use this one unless it was made for an actual monitor that we had so let's go ahead grab ourselves a monitor here two by two this costs two grand okay be careful with this okay so two thousand dollar monitor right here we're just gonna connect everything to it that we need um we need video to it hopefully this is like the right size dimensions for the monitor i think it is and we cannot forget to color it all right let's go see if this works it is on all right so now can we zoom out on it yes we can and then we can click on it, right? No, we can't. Okay, you know, it's at least it's a map. All right, so we have a map in here. We can see our location, which is exactly what we need. There's a red dot up there. I don't know what that is. Um, there's a whole bunch of red dots. I don't even know. But yeah, we got a working map now. It's a little bit interesting, but you know, it'll work. And to add extra, like, you know, protection for the pilot here, which is me, we're gonna add a little glass pane right there. That should do it. All right, and now we have ourselves a nice working boat here. So why don't we kind of like block that off with the right color, probably something like that. There we go. All right, we have a whole bunch of instruments. I think 
we're good to like go ahead and actually maybe try rescuing someone i hope uh, maybe we're gonna try all right so let's go ahead and get in this boat here we have everything all connected to our electric all right so we have a little issue down here a blue boat okay we're gonna turn off this while we're kind of doing all this because that uses a lot of electric um a blue boat radioed for help is that spelt right radioed it kind of looks like it's spelt wrong it's probably not though um extinguish all fires and three casualties all right we're prepared for that here we go all right where's this ad on our map here that our brand new map all right so we go zoom out here and if we just continue going straight go past that island in front of us and we turn to go like over there i think yeah perfectly right there is where we need to go so we're gonna turn left i think it is is that the right way um i don't think it's left okay you know what? we need to turn right then right should do it and we're also going full speed so if our engine does explode um actually it shouldn't we have overheat protection on so that should never happen i think we're on the all good here all right electrics running really low activating generator and we're gonna put it on high mode for a little bit here high mode is on there we go should be going up so on our map here it says we're really close to the actual shoreline i don't see it at all though it's somewhere over there it says it's so foggy out like we can't see anything um yeah kind of scary um wait what the heck oh that's island right there okay turn 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 oh my gosh okay we were gonna crash be careful but yeah we're just gonna be following the shoreline here because that's all about i can see here besides this map which is kind of scary because i don't even know where i'm pointing on this thing which is kind of confusing to me all right i think we have a kind of idea of where they're actually at okay they got their flashing light there we do have our fire hose yes we can actually test that on our first mission here oh my gosh okay yep they are blinking their lights at me yep i do see you and we're gonna stop right here okay shut it down completely our fire hose should easily reach that okay so now we're going to activate this oh yeah we have electrical issues oh no it's not gonna work because our battery's so low okay um should we activate our emergency battery for this you know i don't know i don't think that's necessary you know we'll just go closer to them that'll work all right hello yes i see you i'm gonna get really close to you i'm not gonna run you over there all right hello there i'm gonna use my fire pump on you hopefully this will work there we go all right it's a little bit wonky with our air pressure um yeah that's not gonna work okay you know what uh, fire pumps only for full electric not this all right sir you want to get inside the boat here want to come on side here we go get on the boat we'll place you right there um nope right there perfect i like how i put the seats like that um we probably should have grabbed a fire extinguisher let's go climb back on oh i need ladders okay we'll add that um fire extinguisher has been grabbed all right so i don't know how the heck you got your boat on fire this bad but that's looking rough let's climb up here i got a dead person oh great um i'm taking damage oh gosh okay be careful i'm taking damage still dude i don't know what you guys were doing on this boat but it was insane all right here we go put out the fire completely it is so hot in here i'm taking so much damage all right i have someone dead um the front of their boat is still on fire it's not letting me put it out because i'm not close enough to be up there okay i have to go on the front of their boats um i don't know how i'm able to do that from back here but i'll try um another body outside of the water oh great just what we need okay climb up climb up here we go now put out the bow fire all right fire's been put out three grand from that easy money grab this guy right here we have a dead person all right i'm gonna climb up my boat just like this oh gosh okay that's rough um set you there turn off our water pump that's using a lot of electric um generator on high low mode defibrillator three two one all right you're back alive awesome our electric is going back up pretty fast amazing all right, we have our last person right here that needs to be rescued. He only had one minute to live left. Okay, hello, sir. I'm going to put you on the bow of my boat also. All right, let's put all of our equipment away. Get all these people on full health there. All right, you guys are all on full health. Awesome. So I'll get 2,000 for you guys. Thank you guys in the comments also for letting me know that. I'll put you over there. All right, so I'm guessing I need to bring you guys to a hospital, it says, right? Um, I, yep, to a hospital. So we're going to bring you to my local hospital right over there. There is a hospital boat. You know, should we go over there? No, that's not really on the way, though. We could just go straight. It's kind of out of the way there. I'm just gonna go straight back home. All right, so our electric might drain here completely. Oh gosh, we definitely need to add generators to these engines. It's getting really close, guys. This might not be good. Um, the good news is that our engine's not even close to overheating at 40 Celsius. So this seawater is really cooling this thing down. It is starting to sprinkle out here. Let's go check our weather radar here. Um, oh, lovely. A big storm once we enter back. Okay. Um, fog here is also a little bit bad. No wind. Okay, that's all we need. But um, I can visually tell that we're losing speed, and it says right here that we're losing speed too this is normally at 15 but um since our battery's running low all of our pumps are going slower i hope we're able to make it back it's going to be really close though and also something we need to do is actually add a radiator to our generator because it doesn't turn on for long enough and it just stalls because it overheats which is good so it doesn't light up on fire but it's just also not good for electrical y'all i don't know if we're gonna make it we're not even halfway there and we've lost half of what we had before there is that the hospital thing over there um let's zoom in on it that might be it i have no clue where's that red dot for our house at i don't know also okay i hope that's it we're should be going towards it um it's not those windmills it, i think it's all those forests and stuff um oh our electric's going so low guys our emergency battery might come in clutch here i it's gonna be close our monitor is getting harder and harder to see so i don't know where we're really at which also isn't helping the situation
situation. The sun is setting. We're going to have no lights out here. Um, my battery is on half battery also. Um, we do have emergency batteries out here. Same with a flare gun, so we're good for that. Um, we should also probably have like a crank just in case we lose all emergency power and we can just use a crank and spin it up just in case, you know, you know. We're losing all visibility. All there is is this ship out here. Hopefully he can recharge us. I doubt it though. Is that the, um, oh, oh, it's getting really dark, guys. It's getting dark. Um, hello, ship. Hello, how are you doing? We're just like, you know, kind of, wait a second. Didn't I pack thermal binoculars? Where are these at? thermal binoculars here they are night vision binoculars all right these kind of are helping um i think that's the hospital right there with the tree yeah that's the hospital all right just keep going straight and we will make it hopefully we can also recharge and then that's our house right over there it's getting really rough out here guys it's so scary and there it is below 10 percent. and if i turn on our main lights like right here we'll lose our battery much faster so we're just gonna keep that off for now probably all right here we go i think we're here oh it's really bad i cannot see anything where's the dock at um oh it's over there go turn 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 oh okay does our turning still have electric i think so barely um the generator is on so it's bringing us back up to 10 hopefully the generator kind of charges us back up here all right we're gonna completely cut the throttle here it is completely cut hopefully we we just drift straight to the dock here oh lovely okay there we go we're at the dock let's go ahead and grab a rope right here where's the rope at it's right there connect the rope i cannot see a thing oh we're in the water oh i can't see anything i cannot see a thing okay um attach the rope okay I, i'm done uh, guys this is really bad this is really bad go back up we're drowning we're drowning oh no um all right ropes connected to that and connected to there all right i think we're good all right you guys follow me um this is kind of scary okay i'm gonna give you guys the med kits here oh we're flooding oh no um oh this is really bad guys this is really bad i opened the hatch and now we're flooded you guys follow me we're going to do this together okay oh i don't know if we're gonna get back guys i don't know if we're going to get back at all um i think i have all three of them following me we're gonna jump in the water here just go for a little swim okay um i think i have all three. Oh, you still have your strobe light on oh come on turn that off please that's so bright okay come up follow me um our boat is sinking too by the way so that's amazing all right we're at the hospital before you go in the hospital do you guys have full health you do not so i'm gonna use my med kit on you so i get my full paycheck same with you and i think we're all good here right everyone has full health um i think so all right we're all good here all right everyone follow me inside and i'm gonna be cashing these checks here we go oh yeah 19 2000 i only got 2000 for one of them all right that's fine just stop following me it was close enough. All right. Oh, we need to get back to our boat. It might be completely sunk by now. Oh, no. Look at the boat. Oh, it's going down from the bow. Okay, we need to disconnect it from that thing immediately. That's not good. All right. Disconnect the boat just like that. Okay, it's completely... Oh, uh oh. Um, I think it being connected helped it kind of stay afloat here. Okay, we're sitting a little bit low. I can confirm. I cannot see anything. All right, so we have a little bit of tad, just a tad bit of um water on here. So what we're going to do is start this up. We have 15% battery. Okay, that definitely will help us. Okay, start turning. Go throttle up. Um, we're driving. It's just not working. What's going on? Oh, reverse. Maybe reverse will work. Um, reverse is on. Here we go. Reverse. There we go. Okay, now we need to go forward now. Perfect. There we go. Now we are on our way back home oh my gosh i don't know if we're gonna be afloat much longer here um oh we're starting to dip underwater oh this is rough guys this is really rough i do not dare stand up right now because i feel like my feet will get swept off okay i'm standing up we're gonna turn on our emergency battery to get there all right emergency battery's on there we go now we're picking up some speed our bow is kind of pulling up out of the water here emergency battery is on but it's dropping very fast we are on ultimate overdrive um we've activated all emergency procedures here this has been a rough journey guys but yeah we're probably gonna add bilge pumps um probably tomorrow though because it's getting um pretty long but all right we're back we made it alive let's turn on some of our lights here there we go and we have 2100 fuel left um we are somehow alive but if we shut down the throttle here see what happens oh yep there it is yep okay don't turn off the throttle we're gonna bring this back oh we're still alive okay we're gonna save this that was fun though but that's probably gonna be it for this video it's a little bit longer but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye